Here's the actual Razorback matting that I used and how much concentrates I have in <coughs> the matting. I didn't clean it out like I should have that night and I didn't clean it out yesterday but I'll clean it out tonight and see what kind of gold's in it. Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to get ready to run the washer mat. <coughs> I ran the same sluice box the other night. Um, down on the beach on a minus four tide at night <laughs> and this is the amount of co concentrates that I got out of the Razorback matting um, I don't have a measurement on it but I would guesstimate that there's you know a couple of cups what I'm probably going to try to do um, is I'm actually going to snuff or bottle up the dirt And then as I can, I'm just going to go ahead and run it right on in here. Nice and slow. And we're going to see if I can figure out what the right angle this is going to be. Uh, I'm running it down to a 350 or 360 GPH pump on a 6 inch wide. Uh, you guys will help me do the math. And I'm going to continue to increase the pitch angle on this thing until I see my blondes, for the most part, disappear. Okay, what I've been finding out is about 7.7 .7 degrees all the way up to 8 degrees. And it's still been a pretty good number for me at the 350 gallon pump. <clears throat> the... Uh, I'm dumping the material. It takes a while for it to clear out. Let me go ahead and get another book. But, you know, when you're just sitting at home or in your campground or whatever, I mean, it's just a matter of just being patient. I've been trying to dump it right here in the fastest part of the water, right behind the dam. Nice and slowly. minutes it'll slowly but surely clear itself right on down this is about the fourth or fifth snuffer bottle I just eyeballed into the matting here just not too long ago, and uh, there's a tiny bit of fly food gold in this, but there ain't going to be much. Okay, let me do this again. sit there and wait for it to clear out but it only takes about I don't know it only takes maybe 10 minutes <laughs> at 350 GPH it's slower it's definitely slower but it will clear itself out I'm wondering if I should sit here and film it or not I don't have a timer I should put a timer on it there is gold. I'm saying a tiny bit of gold in these <laughs> these runs where I'm dumping it. There ain't gonna be much gold in here. This is all nothing but fly poop stuff. You see it slowly surely is cleaning me out.
remember this is only 24 inches long, 6 inches wide. top are really cleaned out quite a bit. You see the thing I want to, <laughs> the thing I guess the reason I've been taking so long to do these videos is what I'm trying to stress is hopefully you got to see in the gold pan how many, how much concentrates I had in that pan and then by the time I run it through the washer mat then it's washed out a whole lot more of the uh, <clears throat> concentrates and concentrated it down even further so the idea is just the least amount of actual panning at the end of the day and this is one way to wash it right on down okay this is probably a good 10 minutes later how much is in here let's see if we can do it this way I'm trying to see if I can Flash that gold. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Ah. Anyhow, the next the next addition to this is right here is I'm gonna empty this into the pan. You, you've seen what it, how much concentrate was in the pan before. Now you can see how much concentrate is in the pan after. Okay. Now you guys seen the gold pan earlier? How much concentrates it had in it? After running it through the washer mat, that's all there is. And I'll tell you what, I'll tap it up here in just a second and I'll show you some gold. You can win a $25,000 scholarship account for your child. Go to uacollegesavings.com for more info. I trust they'll make the right decision. Come on. It's not just auto parts, auto plus. That's all your automotive parts plus everything you need to keep your driveway free of snow. There's no more breaking your back. There it is. You have the right tool for the job. And the right tool the not a lot to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of guys are way better at painting than me, but there you go. Here's a bit of gold. Just that quick. I can snuff or bottle that up and pan it down a little bit more, but tip the pan. There's there's the storm gold right there. Tip the pan back towards you a little bit, getting a lot of glare off that light. There's a storm gold. Tip it, tip it, tip it, tip it, tip it. There we go. Now you get Alright. Well, here we go. I've gone through a couple more minutes of uh gold rush and uh, here is my storm gold it's taking me about three or four commercials to go ahead and go through uh, see if I'll focus in there yep there it is I was out there in the middle of the darn night on a minus four tie getting this gold uh, it's only out of one five gallon bucket I'll try to get a weight on it here sooner or later. Actually, I'll very carefully put it in the, my fancy new gold dryer and then I'll go. I doubt that it's even. Oh man. I'll bet this ain't even hardly a tenth of a gram. That's some fine fly poop gold right there, guys. If I can zero in on it even more, I don't know. 